Well, I'm going to show you uh, in the previous video I showed you how that you I can't walk through the door anymore. Now I want to create a system where I can open the door or remove the door. So, and uh, I want to do that by knocking on the door, and the knocking will create a uh, a hint, and the hint will uh, show me how to open the door. And I also want to add a sound. So let's start with the sound. I'm gonna a sound. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna import a sound here, and I'm gonna use uh, Boing. This one, open up. It's importing, and it sounds like this. Oh. Well, let's uh, first. I'm gonna edit it. I'm gonna. No, I don't want it to loop and I don't want positional audio, it just has to play anywhere. And then I have to move it a bit because it's in a way and I'm gonna move it just over there behind the wall. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit the door again, action editor, and I'm gonna add a new trigger and it's going to be the click or tap trigger. I'm going to add action and I'm going to say I want to control audio add and I'm going to select the media which is the Boeing MP3 and I want it to play. So now when I click on the door it will play this sound. That's the first thing. The next I want is a hint on this wall appearing as soon as I click on the on the door. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I add a text area. This is the text area. I'm gonna snap it to the wall. Uh, lower it, make it smaller. There it is. And here the hint will come. So here will be some information on it like this and um, well you can change the background uh, a bit in another color but you can also use transparent and I'm gonna use transparent for it I'm gonna delete the word information I just put one space in it and then you don't see anything on the wall anymore I'm gonna back to the Action edit. Oh, first I'm gonna see text area. I'm have to rename it text area uh, door one. Yes. You always rename your uh, items so that you know where to find it. Because when you use several text areas, it's always good to know that this one is the text area for door one. Now I'm gonna edit the door again. And I already have the click or knock on the door with the audio but I'm going to add an extra action on it and in the extra action I'm going to set the property of the asset called text area door one and the property is the text and then I will say in this text I will say click on the logo above this door to open Okay, I'm going to close it. And now, when I knock on the door, you hear the sound and you see the information that's been provided. But still, I need one more thing and I have to click on this logo to open the door. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the door, uh, action editor of the logo and I'm going to add a trigger also a click or tap I'm going to add an action and I'm going to set the property of the which asset is it it's called first door and I'm going to set the property position now I want the position, first I want the position of this door. So all I have to do is paste current values. And now 
here in this system I have the precise value of the door. So when I close, if I move the door a bit like this, when I click on here, at, so the actually the logo uh, r resets the door on this position. But I don't want it, I want the door to be removed so I can walk through. So what I can do now is I'm gonna, in this action editor, I'm gonna set the parameter of the Y position into minus 10. And I close. And I also create a reset button, which is here, the gamify. I'm going to add a trigger. Click tap. What I'm going to do is make a reset button. Set the property of the asset called first door. And the property is the position at the position that it's now. So this is my save button because now I can go back to the logo above and then change. Oh, it's already changed, of course, minus 10. So what will happen when I click on the? You see the door is gone and I can walk through. But if I want the door to be reset, I can click on the gamify button over here and then the door is reset. But still, the text is there. So here again, in the action editor, I can add another action called set properties. And then I take the text area and the property is text. And I put in there two spaces. So now when I click on the gamify button, then this is gone too. So it's actually reset. So now I can walk to the door. Nothing happens. So I think, okay, I have to walk, knock on the door. And then it says, click on the logo above this door to open. And there you have it. And now I can walk through. This gamify button could also be a threshold, for instance, over here where the avatar is walking. So the threshold can close and reset the whole system. Well, and of course you can also create something that when you walk into the door, uh, action editor, that the proximity can also add text, set the property of the text area, and then text, and I say, no, you can't walk through. Try something else. Close. Now, when my avatar walks to the door, then you see on the text here at the right, it says, no, you can't walk through. Try something else. Again, if I click on the Gamify button, that's reset. So, try something else. So I'm knock. Ah, click on the logo above this door. And there we have it. We can go. To the next area. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye!